angels and devils and all who may wonder here, it is Amanda Christina and we are going to make this lovely draw set. This is my design. <coughs> of course. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Hopefully the coughing has stopped for now. I have done pre-prep on a lot of this because it was just easier for me to do that. Um, and I am missing something. <laughs> That's hilarious. I can't even right now. Oh no, here we go. I have my, and I just threw one bit away. Okay, that's fine. I can just deal with that. Okay, so the first thing we have <coughs> is a piece of cardstock measuring eight and a half by six and three quarters. Now, just this is a tutorial you're going to want to refer back to because there is another version of this I want to do. I just have to figure out the logistics. So the first thing you're going to do is score at three quarters, two and a half, four and a quarter, and six. Then you're going to turn this way. You're going to score at three quarters, two and a half, six, and seven and three quarters. So this is your main piece. Then for your drawers, you're going to cut out four pieces of cardstock that are, and I don't know why that one's slightly, I have no idea what happened there, but okay, um, which are three and a quarter, uh, yeah, three and a quarter squares. So you want four three and a quarter squares that you basically score at um, three quarters of an inch, turn, score at three quarters of an inch, turn, score at three quarters of an inch and turn and score at three quarters of an inch and you do four of those. Then what you're going to do, there's one of these that is not folded up yet, is you're going to do a two and a half, uh, two and three quarter piece by two and a half inches and you need four of these and you'll score it on this way at one and a quarter and then you will score at half and two and a quarter. Now what you do with these is you tape them together and these become your, I guess I would say like just a little added strength between your drawers. Um, this was something I had had thought about because I have a set of small drawers that are, that are a die but do you know what? Not everyone has dies, not everyone can afford die cutting machines but usually someone will end up with a scoreboard after a while. Like a scoreboard is such an invaluable tool. You can do so much with a scoreboard. Yes, it's nice to have the dies that do all the work for you. So then you end up with four pieces like this. We have our drawer. Um, I've done an album here, but I will show you how to make that in a separate tutorial. And then we have all our little bits and our... So what we're going to start with is I'm going to put everything else to the side for a minute. We're going to start with this piece. What you do is, okay, okay. we cut all of these pieces off at the side except for the middle one. So you're going to leave that middle piece there. And we're going to cut this corner of stuff off altogether. And then we're going to cut in there and we're going to cut, just give me a second, I'm trying to think. Yep, we're going to cut down here. So cut down, down, and then we're going to turn and flip this the other way. I tried to do a lot of prep for this because this is one of those ones that, when you first do it, it takes a bit of work and it, it does take a bit of concentration. I'm not going to lie on that fact. Okay, so again, we're doing the cut the corner pieces off. So we're going to come along here. That just needs a slight more bit cut. And what these extra pieces here are going to do are reinforce the top bit. 
just to add extra strength to it. Um, you could do more for the sides, but it makes it very hard. Okay, so we don't want to cut that bit there off. We want that centerpiece. So we're just going to cut straight down. Now, this is not the best cardstock to do this out of. I'll be really honest here. It's what I had, and I'm trying to work with what I've got at the moment and not use up all the good stuff I have. So then you have this. And we cut these bits off. And you are left with this shape. Now, this is the easiest part of this once you, once you sort of realise what you're doing. We're going to put tape on these flaps. We're going to put tape here and here and on these edge bits. So these end ones, we're just going to grab some super strong tape because, honestly, you're better off using the best quality tape you can to hold this together. Um, oh, actually, no, these inside bits don't need the super strong tape. That's right. And you'll understand that in a minute, although I may have done something wrong. I really hope I didn't. I feel like I've done something wrong, but I'm not 100% sure I've done something wrong. Um, this um, card stock actually takes well to express it style tape. So this is express it. This is my last roll of express it. I'm kind of sad and bummed. I think I cut something off I needed. Just looking at this, I'm not sure I did this right. Okay, this. Oh no, actually, I did do it right. Amazing. Okay, so because this takes to the express it so well, I'm just going to do express it on everything. So we're just going to put three pieces on each of these. Um, under, under, yep. Now, the other thing, other purpose for this, and I haven't done that tutorial yet and I will, is um, a shadow box. And then there's another tutorial, but I still have to figure that bit out a little. So I'm not going to lie and say I've got that all figured out because I created this awesome sort of wardrobe-y box thing that opened up. I saw a Prima tutorial on it once and I cannot for the life of me find it now. Um, apparently they had a die that did it. but So now I'm just putting tape everywhere. So I just had a moment of panic. It's so funny. I'm so confident with my crafting at times and then other times I'm just like, and especially when it comes to showing other people or getting other pe giving other people instructions to do things that I can do, I sort of just, I get to a point where I'm like, am I doing it right? And especially when it comes to scoring and stuff because as, my, as confident as I can be in my room, I ruined a bit of cardstock trying to get this right. I'm not going to lie about that. This was a work in progress. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take these bits and you're going to fold them up. If there's any bits sticking out, just trim them off. Actually, what you would probably be better off doing and what I probably should have done first, but I'm just going to trim this bit down, is do that thing with stamping up. Um, ladies all tell you to do, which is just to take a tiny sliver off the edge of each piece of cardstock that you're tucking under. Ugh, I'm shaking, sorry. I'm just trying to get this done. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to catch up on my Spooktober stuff because I really, really have been enjoying it. I just have had a really bad bout with insomnia and heat does not help me. I pretty much only sleep in the heat for some reason or end up in more pain than I do in winter, which is crazy to me. But what can you do? You just have to ride the waves and do the best you can. And yes, my hands are shaking. I apologise. That just happens with me sometimes. I'm still arguing with my doctor that that is not normal. Um, but anyway, ugh, everything's sticking to me now. Okay, so we're almost 10 minutes in, but we've almost got the base of our project done. So what we're going to do is you take this, these bits and just literally fold them up into your box shape. So we're just going to take all this tape off um, and fold it up, stick it down, flip it over and do the same thing. Now I'm not sure if I'm stealing someone else's tutorial because this is mine. Um, I'm not sure if anyone else has done this before me or done, the, done this this way, but this is seriously something I've created myself. I was trying to figure out 
how to do a double draw thing with the drawers I have, the draw dies I have, which are lifestyle crafts, which you can't even get anymore. And I just couldn't get it to work the way I wanted. Um, and I tried creating a new box for them and everything, and it just was not working the way I wanted. So now you fold this bit up. Then we're just going to take all the tape off these bits and fold them in. Now this just reinforces your box a little. If you have more cardstock, you can easily bring it in. Like on the base, you don't need to, but on the sides, you could easily bring it in more. Um, you could take the measure to wait to stick these in until you put your little drawer pieces uh, to put your little drawer thingies in but honestly I just do this this is my way of doing it um, there are other ways you can improve upon this of course but I try and keep things as simple as possible so cutting this up into different places where the drawer pulls go that's just complicated and it gets confusing if you're not someone who crafts a lot and I've just noticed okay so what I'm going to do is just do that little snippety snip to the corners here because I just noticed that on one on the other side it didn't really want to give me a nice edge on the inside and you need your nice edges. Actually, it should be okay because it's where the album's going, but you still need your nice edges for your drawers to fit in. Okay, and that is literally your little box. See, not too hard, not too difficult. You've got that done. Now the next thing is the draw. We've got these ready to go we've got to put some tape on them so the next thing is the draw now what i have what i do do with the draw now let me see which side is the right side mm -hmm. okay. so this one so what i do with this is i fold this piece of paper is one and a half by one and a half scored at three quarters and then i've just taken i had the punch i swear i yep I have a one half inch punch and all I've done is literally popped this in the center and punched it out. So that's been punched. Then what I do is I fold this over the piece where it's going, get it roughly where I want it and again punch it out. Um, and then when I fold the other bits over, I do the punch thing again. So you could fold it over and do those bits now. It's just a little harder to see. And this at least, sometimes this punch is really good and sometimes it's really crap. Crap. Um, I don't know what brand it is, but it sort of drives me a bit batty. Anyway, we're at 12 minutes already. Oh, my gosh. So now what we do is we put, we take the tape. Um, this is a very tape heavy, but if you're a person who prefers glue, by all means, use glue. Um, I just happen to prefer double-sided tape. I find glue messy for me. I find that I make more of a mess with glue than I do like with tape. Um, so we're just going to do this. And this is just a standard look. What I have done with this is I've tried to create something where you're only going to use a couple of pieces of cardstock. So instead of being super resource heavy um, and reinforcing everything, which you can do, I mean, I have no objections to that. I was just trying to do something that would fit into the terms of budget crafting for me. Um, which means not using many resources and a lot of this bar the piece of paper and I think it just took a six by six piece of dead and breakfast to okay so we're just folding that in and see how we oh, we have a little bit extra here that we don't want so we're just gonna trim that piece down a little then I'm just gonna take this again pop it over look for where the hole is and just snip those pieces off I'll just do that again because it was a little yeah there we go just make sure I tidy up the drawer a little and then we're just going to fold up this side put on the so that's the other thing with this is because the front of the drawers are the bits where you push and pull if you wanted to use brads you could I just because I didn't really have a lot of stuff that I thought worked well as draw pulls I just decided to go with the clipping out the little piece because I figured that at least most people have a circle punch or a circle die that they can use for that sort of thing um and if you know if you haven't got the punch but you've got a die just make sure you go around with some fine scissors and just cut those little bits out from the extra things and then we're just going to take 
this piece, put some tape top and bottom and I always do sides on this sort of piece just, just because I think it helps to have it secure. And that's like the drawers are super simple. I've tried to keep this as simple as possible. Like it looks like a really complex thing. The hardest part is the bit that's coming up next. And we're just going to make sure that I have tape on all of those bits first. Again, I do not know how to do short tutorials, obviously. Um, okay, so you'll notice with your paper, there's one way where you fold it where it's facing the right way, I guess. So what I'm going to do is just line this up pop it over and you've got your drawer. Now as you can see because I've had this prepped for a little bit these drawers are slightly squished but that is my fault that is not the tutorial's fault because once you have them in here as you can see from these ones they maintain their size pretty well they are a pretty good and they're this is a really nice way if, if you're someone who struggles with presenting stuff like and you've got little tiny embellishments or small gifts or little chocolates I mean you could use this for so many things this is not just a Halloween so I'm doing it in Halloween theme but honestly I have a Christmas tutorial idea with this but now that now that we have the base tutorial I can just refer back to this tutorial which helps a lot um, and we go la 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 Another tutorial's almost done. This is seriously the hardest part of this. And what I will do is because this is taking so long, I will come back later with the tutorial for the mini album that fits in the top pocket because I think it would be better to do that as a separate tutorial. So there's four of these little draw things and you'll notice also that I have a roll of magic tape. This is just a cheap roll I think I got off eBay or somewhere. It was like a dollar. Um, I just bought it to see if it was as good as the stuff in the stores. And the reason we have that will become obvious in a minute. So now you have your four things. What I do is I don't measure this. I do this like this. So I make sure these are folded down. I put one in. And I go one side of the drawer this the right way yep this is the right way just making sure and then I tuck it into the back I know where my drawer is where that is and then I do that I pop it back up a bit pop this down and try and make it as even as possible so I pop the drawer back in for a second and then I Oops, before I stick it down, the other thing you're supposed to do is make sure it's hitting the back. Now, this sounds like overkill to make sure it's hitting the back. It doesn't have to be. Like, if you're not if you're not going to worry about that, like, I just like it hitting the back because it means it's fairly straight, although I don't know that that looks straight to me. Um, now what you're going to do is you don't do stop and do this every time, but I'm going to show you just so you know on one and then you just do all four, but I'm not going to do all four in this because this uh, this tutorial is another one that's taking forever, is you take some of your magic tape and we want it about the length we need and you put it, you, you just flip it into the inside of your box along the seam. Now, this sounds a little like overkill, and I only learnt this recently from watching Leah Denton, is that what it does is, look, it helps, I mean these slide in really nicely anyway, but it just helps things slide in nicely. So I'm just going to do this on one to show you, and then I will finish this after I do the tutorial, and um, yeah, finish doing these bits but basically this is what we're going to do it helps us so I'm trying to show you what I'm doing I'm just trying to get it to the end gently gently and cover the bit and then you take your bone folder if you want to and just burnish it on now this is what just it helps you glide in and glide out nice and easy that's all that is so the next thing we're going to do put our next drawer in for a minute I'm, I'm leaving the other drawer in and then I'm just going to take the next one of these and we're just going to repeat the process four times until all our drawers have a shelf to basically sit on. Now, 
Um, again, I'm doing this, trying to do this so that you can see it as well. I am trying very hard not, hang on, I've done that the wrong way. You want the folded bit in the front of this. The reason you want the folded bit in the front is it just looks more finished. That's the only reason. If you get it the wrong way around, do not stress. I have done that as well. I'm not going to, you know, rip you over the coals for something like that. I don't see the stress in that. It's just more a neatness factor. Now, these shelves could have been made to go higher and more, I guess, there we go, okay, higher and more, like to go all the way to the, oh, I did not stick this one all the way to the back. Let's see if I can just lift this up and just gently coax it towards the back a bit more. Okay, let's just check that that's in the right spot. Yep, okay, and then I need to, ugh. this one is bubbling up a little, but basically it, it just takes a little time and practice really to get these in the right spot. Okay, I can see that, that's, that that side is now in the right spot, but this side isn't. So I'm just going to try and, oh, this one does not want to work. You have those days where you are you can do something fine on your own. As soon as you go to do it as a tutorial, it goes to hell in a handbasket or what is it? Um, it just goes, it just goes wrong, people. Okay, so we have that one done. So we have that drawer in and I'm just going to burnish these because this is not sticking as well as I would like and it's not doing what it's told it's just being a pain in my bee hind right now so we just want to make sure and again I've got it slightly wrong on one side slightly wonky it just keeps happening with this one I swear I don't understand it um I think it's because this bit is bowing um or there let's try that maybe it's just because it's bowing a little okay now we have a snug spot for our drawer to slide in. We move up to the next drawer. And the good thing about this is if you do fudge it up a little, it doesn't matter because I've allowed plenty of room with your um, with the album that you can actually put less in your album and make it less, I guess, what's the word, less um, less bulky. That's the word. Okay, so we're just sliding this one in, we're pushing that down there, we're making sure it's slid all the way into the end. We do it on this one. I could have, I suppose, done the, in hindsight, done the, the little bits of this a little longer so they actually sit on top of each other um, to make your drawers. Okay, that is a little tight. Hmm. Oh, I see why one side is down just a little bit more than it should be. Okay, let's, no. let's see. If, okay, let's see where this one wants to be. Hang on. Um, now this is this is fiddly. As I said, I'm not going to lie. This is the most fiddly part of this tutorial. Um, honestly, this is the hardest thing to do. Okay, and I'm just looking at this, and I don't know that I have enough room for my album. I don't. Now, this is a testament to sometimes craft goes wrong. But you know what? <laughs> we got a cute little set of drawers out of it. Um, I don't know what happened here. Everything is the measurements it should be. Um, but I think my drawers might be slightly bigger than they should be. Let's have a look. <laughs> and the answer to that is no. It's just one of those days where nothing wanted to go right. So here's a tutorial for a set of drawers. <laughs> And I've just spent so long doing it that I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to go, okay, you know what? Um, the mounting pieces for the sides, for the long sides, are one and a half by three and a quarter. I'll just put this last one on. I'm just, I have to giggle because usually everything that can go wrong does go wrong. I could probably play with this and rearrange these so they sit a little neater on top of each other. But even when I do that, look, it's still not going to give me the top bit. And I, I cannot even tell you why it did not work today. It's just one of those days where it didn't want to work. And then your base piece is one and a half by one and a half. Um, yeah. So congratulations. You made a set of drawers and I have no idea what happened or what went wrong. Oh, I'm 
I'm going to have to fiddle with this and try and figure it out. And if I do, I will let you know in the next tutorial. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, remember, you are incredible. You are amazing. And most importantly of all, you matter. Um, <laughs> this is supposed to squeeze up the top somewhere. Um, I'm just, yep. <laughs> I think I just need to stop filming today, obviously, because nothing wants to go right. Um, so, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think below of my draw tutorial. <laughs> it was supposed to be this, and I apologise. I will fiddle with it and see what went wrong. I feel like these drawers feel bigger to me, but they shouldn't be bigger. I don't understand. Like, they measure up. They all pretty much measure. So I just need to do some fiddling. Anyway, I will talk to you soon, my angels and devils. I'm off to have dinner. I hope you're having a wonderful day and bye.